Hi, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today I'm going to show you how to field dress a whitetail deer. Once you walk up to the harvested deer, you immediately tag it to show that you're taking possession of that deer. Next, I always like to carry some gloves with me, some shoulder gloves and some latex gloves. I like to put these on just to avoid a mess. So I like to grab out my knives here, and I have two different knives I like to use when I field dress my deer. One, this knife here, and, and this is more of just a type of knife that you would use actually to just make a slit to make to start your field dress. It also has a gut hook on it. I don't like to use that. I have this knife here that I really like. It's pretty much a gut hook. It also gives you the opportunity to uh, ratchet up the sternum to get to the windpipe, and we'll show you that here shortly in the video. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna start here. I'm gonna make a little cut right here in the sternum to start to start the field dress. So I have this knife here. We're gonna cut. So I'm gonna switch my knives to this gut so I won't, usually it's careful so you don't cut the gut. Get it right in there. Then it slide along right down. We're gonna go all the way down to the butt. And then, here's the sternum. Bring this ratchet strap up like a, it's like a ratchet, and we'll cut right up that sternum, just like this. All right, got it cut pretty good. I'm gonna switch out back to my other knife here, and I'm gonna try going here and cut up a little more and try and get that windpipe. So when I get that windpipe, guts should start going. So I'm gonna cut some of this membrane right here as I do it. You see the heart and you see the liver. You pull it back, cut, get in there and get it. You can see this deer was well fed, a lot of fat in here. So let me stick that back, do a little more pulling. All right, I got the windpipe. I'm gonna make that cut. Now it should come. It should just slide on down. This is where it comes to some fun, fun part here also. If you got a buck or a doe, in my case a buck, you need to actually cut off its testicles before you cut the rest out and finish cutting the butt out before you get all the guts out. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'm gonna finish gutting. I'm gonna cut right around the testicles. <clears throat> to get those off, just cut it. There we go, it's down. Now I'm gonna finish getting the guts out. You see I'm cutting the butt out. So I'm gonna pull the rest of the guts out now. It's all that out. Right. Once you're through field dressing the deer, one of the last steps I always like to do is turn the deer over to get some of the excess blood out. Then the fun begins, getting the deer out of the woods. Once you get out of the woods, you can take it right to the processor, or if you plan on hanging it overnight, be sure to open up the chest cavity and put something in there to let it air out. Thanks for watching. 